Hey guys, it's Coach Danny from Prime Coaching Sport, and I'm here today with Coach Connor, who is a top athlete and coach as well. So there's a lot to baseball, but he's gonna take us through a couple of the fundamentals we need to know to get us started in our PE lessons. So what are you gonna take us through today, Connor? Danny, today we're gonna to go through the basics of baseball. We're gonna teach you the fundamentals of hitting, catching and throwing, and we're also gonna give you a couple of drills to do in your PE classes as well. So let's get to it. Fantastic. So first off, we're gonna look at how to hold the bat. All right, it's nice and comfortable. You're not kind of choking the bat. You're in a nice, nice comfortable grip so your hands can swing freely. Now, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna be addressed to the plate like this. My right hand's gonna be on top. If I'm left-handed, your left hand will be on top and you're gonna turn around like, like so. Now, when you're standing up to the plate, you wanna make sure that your feet are pointing straight towards the pitcher. A way you can do this, you lay the bat down on the ground and you make sure that your toes are pointed up the middle. Teachers, make sure that students aren't addressing the tee with their foot open or too closed off. Our feet wanna be a little bit more than shoulder width apart in a nice comfortable position. Now where we hold the bat, we want it up sort of between our ear and our shoulder, okay? And our bat's tilted up slightly. It's not tilted up vertical like this and it's also not drooped down like, like so. So our hands are here. We're gonna step, swing, follow through. And it's important on the follow through, we have a common saying that you wanna imagine that there's a bug underneath your toe. So when you swing, you're gonna squash that bug and that helps your hips come through, which helps generate a lot of your power. So we don't wanna be swinging like so, leaving our heels on the ground. Swing comes through, nice and balanced. Squash the bug, facing up the middle. Now that I've taught you the basics of the swing, we're gonna put that in practice with the ball on the tee. Now when I address the ball on the tee, I want it, say, around belt height. Now, as far as in and out, we wanna make sure that we're in a nice, comfortable position where when we can loosely let our arms extend, the ball's in the sweet spot of the bat. Now we want the ball to be hit on the sweet spot of the bat because that's gonna get us the most distance. Any higher or lower is gonna send a lot of vibrations through the hands and we don't want that. So if I'm up on the ball, when I swing, the ball's gonna hit the handle and that's not the ideal place to hit. That also happens when we're back too far off the tee, we're gonna be reaching, the ball's gonna come off the end and that's not the ideal place to hit. So a nice comfortable position right here. Now we also, the, the pitch is in line with my front foot. So I don't wanna be up like this because when I swing, I'm not getting extension. I'm not in an ideal place to hit. And that's also what happens if we're too far away. We're gonna be reaching for it and that's not a powerful position to hit. So we address the tee, <clears throat> belt height, nice comfortable position. And when I'm hitting the ball off the tee, I wanna hit it, it's called a line drive. Now the ball will exit in say, an angle that gets over the fielders with backspin. Anything on the ground, it's an easy out. The fielder's gonna field it, throw to first, and that's the same when you hit the ball straight up in the air, it's easy to catch. So the best way to get distance is that line drive. The ball leaves at say a 30 degree angle with true backspin. My feet shoulder width apart, I'm very comfortable, hands are up. When you swing, make sure you rotate and squash that bug.
Now we're gonna move on to throwing. And we gotta learn how to hold the ball first. So the ball has distinct horseshoes on it. And we wanna make sure our two fingers are on top of that horseshoe. And that's because when we throw, we wanna pull down on those seams so the ball gets true backspin. Now my hands are gonna start in the middle of my body. I'm gonna come out like a scarecrow and then step this, my glove hand comes back into my chest. My arm's gonna come through. Now my arm's at sort of a three quarter arm slot. We're not over the top here. We're not down here. Down here, we're gonna throw the ball's gonna get side spin, we want back spin. So we're gonna come out like a scarecrow when we step and then step and throw. Always trying to hit our partner right on the chest. Now before we catch the ball, we have to make sure we're in an athletic position. Our feet are slightly wider than shoulder width apart and our knees are bent. Now we're ready for a bad throw to go left or right, up or down. Now if the throw is coming to us, say above our belly button, our fingers are gonna be up, okay? It's a lot easier, the pocket's in a good position. When it's below our belly button, our fingers gonna be down. Obviously, if I'm trying to catch a ball with my fingers down that's up around my face, it's gonna be dangerous because my pocket isn't in a good position and I could get hit in the face. Now, it's a lot easier to catch the ball with two hands. So if the ball say around this vicinity, we're gonna wait for the throw with our throwing hand right beside our glove. And as the ball comes into the pocket, we're gonna just gently close it. We wanna catch the ball right in the pocket. It's the easiest place to catch it. When we catch it right on our hand, that can be uh, tough and it can hurt. And also, if you catch it right on the end, you run the risk of the ball falling out. Now that I've taught you how to throw and catch, grab a partner and stand roughly 10 meters apart. When you play and catch, you always wanna make sure you hit your partner in the chest. So aim small, miss small. I'm gonna pick out the button on Coach Danny's shirt. I'm gonna try and hit that. Remember, we wanna, when we throw, we're side on, we wanna point our elbow and our glove towards our partner and throw the ball with backspin. That's good, make sure you're in an athletic position, always expecting a bad throw. Just a nice gentle squeeze as that ball comes in the glove. Nice. Good. And last one. Great. Now if this seems easy to you, you can start stretching the distance okay as the further you go back the obviously more difficult it's going to be to hit your partner in the chest when the ball's hit on the ground we call this a ground ball now to field a ground ball we want to make sure our legs are wide apart our weights on the balls of our feet and our glove hand is out in front with our fingers down we don't want our glove hand back between our legs because then i can't see where the ball is so we have it nice out in front fingers down we also use our throwing hand as say an alligator scoop and the ball comes in nice and soft like you're fielding an egg. Field the ball, replace your feet and fire to your target. All right, to practice fielding, we're gonna grab a partner and Coach Danny's gonna roll me the ball. I'm gonna field it and I'm gonna throw it back to him. Always hitting him on the chest. We're gonna do this three times and then we're gonna swap and I'm gonna roll him the ball. Now remember, we want a nice wide base, glove out in front, trying to field it like it's an egg and our fingers are down, using that hand as an alligator mouth. Always fielding the ball in the middle of our body. Good. 
Make sure your feet are, are wide apart. Yeah, like that, good. Perfect. Nice. Now when the ball's hit in the air, we call this a pop fly or a fly ball. Now to catch these, first of all, we wanna make sure we're in athletic position. We're under the ball, our glove is up in front of our face. We do this because if our glove's under here, underneath our vision, we can't see whether the ball goes into our glove or not. So that way, when it's above our head, we can see the ball go into our glove. Our throwing hand is right beside our glove to assist when the ball comes in. Now, if you have to run for a fly ball or a uh, pop fly, you wanna make sure you run first, then get in the position to catch the ball. It is very hard to make ground when you're running with your hands up trying to catch the ball like so. So we run to the position, we get under it, athletic position, hands up, ball comes down. We catch it slightly over our throwing shoulder, so then we're in a good position to throw and fire and hit our target. This drill is easily practiced by just throwing a ball up and simply catching it. Now for the younger kids, it's good to use tennis balls so we avoid any face injuries. Now we're gonna practice a fly ball. Same thing, grab a partner, roughly 10 meters apart. We're just gonna loop the ball underhand softly to our partner. Remember, make sure you beat the ball, you get under it. We're not running to the ball with our hands in the air and we're catching the ball with our hands up so we can see it, not under our chin like this. Slightly over our throwing shoulder. Nice. Good. Remember be in a nice athletic position. Good. Nice. This next drill we're gonna to do to practice catching fly balls, you're gonna grab a partner. One's gonna be the thrower, one's gonna be the fielder. Fielder's gonna start on the ground, face down, the thrower's gonna throw the ball up, yell out ball, and then when you, when you hear the word ball, you're gonna get up, try and catch the ball. Once you catch it, you're gonna place it down. I'm gonna throw another one, and then you catch that again, and I'm gonna throw another ball. So it's gonna look like this. Ball. Nice. Practice throwing the ball to the left and the right so we can practice moving in different directions. Thanks Coach Connor for the tips today, that was awesome stuff. Hopefully you guys at school have a couple of things to work on. So get out there, get out onto the field, practice those skills. And if you as a teacher are looking for more lessons and ideas when it comes to teaching PE, not just baseball but other sports, make sure you check out my resources in the links below. I've got everything you need for elementary all the way through from kindergarten through to grade six. Get looking at that and I'll see you guys soon.